trapezoid. Three and one are the areas of two triangles respectively. Find the area of the purple and orange triangles. If you learn the method you can directly find the answer when you encounter such a problem. Let's start. In the trapezoid, connect the diagonals. First, look at these two triangles. Can you see their relationship? They share the same base, and the height is the same. So, their areas are equal, which is quite simple. This triangle is their common part, so the area of the blue and yellow part is equal, right? We get the first conclusion, when the diagonals of a trapezoid are connected, the areas of the two triangles on the left and right are equal. Let's continue. Passing through the vertex, I'll create a perpendicular line on one of the diagonals, let's call it H1. The area of O1 is derived like this. Express the area of A2 in the same way. We can figure out the proportional relationship between the areas of A1 and A2. It's the same as the proportion of their bases. Using the same method, we can figure out the proportional relationship between the areas of A4 and A3. Look carefully, the result is the same as the one we just got. When multiplying the diagonals, we can draw the second conclusion. In the trapezoid, connect the diagonals. The product of the areas of the two triangles above and below is equal to the product of the areas of the two triangles on the left and right. For ease of memory, some countries have given it a nickname, the butterfly model, as it really does resemble a butterfly. We can remember it like this. The left and right wings of a butterfly are the same, and multiplying the head and tail equals multiplying the two wings. Now return to the problem, wouldn't you be able to quickly come up with the final answer?